Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my next video. Today we're gonna sort of get the container working um, or the canvas. I did a little bit of work before. Actually what happened was I forgot to record, but thankfully I didn't miss out on too much. The only thing I added was just a border around the container for this div. I wanna have it so that every time we click the eraser, it will automatically go make the color to white. So in the header, I think it's the header. That's where we're having the, the states. So I want to have like a if else condition. So maybe like if updated item equals eraser as a string, then we want to have new utensil dot key holder. We want to set this automatically to color to match this key equals white new utensil inside of this and then else. So if it's not eraser, I think there's no other special cases. We can follow the original logic. Let's see if this works now. Save this. Ooh, it's not defined. New updated item is not defined. No. Seems like color is not defined here. Do we have to make this into a string? Oh, updated item. Oopsies. And then if I set it to eraser, it should make the color white. So we got that working. So now what we can do is let's set the tool as well to brush. Now we want to pass in the, the utensil into the color container, which we did. Oh, not the, oh, sorry, the, the container, not the color container. Make it into a div and we can have an on click. Let's look at some react events. Let's see if we can find like a br mouse events. On click, on context menu, on double click, on drag, on mouse move, on mouse out. Okay. At. Execute JavaScript when pressing a mouse button. Maybe the the mouse down is better for our case. So we can do on mouse down. Or maybe like the maybe we can just do a handle mouse down. Ooh, I just realized that. We need to pass in the information from the header to the container as well. So all of our logic sort of being held in here, which is not where we want our state to be. It want to be at the top so that we can use it for the container. I thought the color container was the container. So that was my bad. Change that up real quick. So we go to the header. We're going to bring the use state and then go to the app, put that, put the constant. So we want to bring in the use state as well. We want to bring in the function. That's going to handle the utensils. I don't think we need the utensil here. Bring these in here. Header container. Let's bring that in as a prop here. And then we can bring that in as a prop to the container. Actually, we might not even need the handle utensil here because where all the handling of the utensil will be done in the header. So that the only thing we need in the container is the utensil itself. So let's see if the console still works. Bucket, normal white, brush, pink. Okay, cool. Next video, I want to start getting the, the on mouse down event to be working so that with the utensil, we can extract that data and have the color be passed down using uh, maybe like on file styling. So yeah, I'll see you guys in that video. Thanks for tuning in.